Hey guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we're going to be showing you the budget hillbilly way how to remove some weight off your piston so you don't have to spend the extra dollar to get it balanced. Okay guys, here's our factory 454 piston. This is just a stock cast piston. Um, still complete. We've weighed this and got a weight off of it. And this is our replacement piston. It's a 60 over silver light. It's got a small dome. Should give us about 10 to 1 compression. Um, and so we've weighed this, these pistons. You can see where I wrote the weight on it and they come in about 18 to 19 grams heavier than the factory pistons. Um, so what we're going to do, attempt to do is remove some material out from underneath the dome of these pistons. You can see right here where it's a raised dome. Um, so here's a couple things we got to do this job. We've got a couple drill bits. We've got a three quarters, a five eighths, and a five sixteenths. I'll use five sixteenths for a pilot hole, and these kind of go into. Uh, then we'll step up to the half or the five eighths, and it'll um, kind of get us started. And then we'll go in a little bit bigger to the three quarter, and use this to do the majority of our material removal. Um, then we have a marker. And I use this to, I try to, every time I weigh these, I try to use a different colored marker to keep, uh, I don't know, keep it organized as to what weights what. And then uh, we have a little air burr grinder, a cordless drill, and we have a scale that measures up to a thousand grams and it measures a tenth of a gram. Um, so what we've done is we've got the weight of this one. With rings, pin, and everything, we're, this is 18 grams heavier. And what we're trying to do here is keep from having to take the crank and rods and everything to the machine shop. Since we're using the same crank and rods, um, now they're factory and they're probably not balanced very well, but it didn't vibrate before, so we should be okay with these. Now, um, what I like to start by doing is taking my marker and taking a straight edge and putting it across this, this dome like this. And then I'll flip the piston over and I use it as a reference line okay and then I'll just kind of trace the edge so I know where the edge of my dome is and I try to stay within this um, even though there's about half an inch of material I don't know if you can see that see where I drew the line you can kind of see where the drill bit sticking out on each side and then I go where the dome starts to taper off and I draw a line which is usually about the center point of the pin and then so now I will stay in between this area whenever I'm removing material so what I'll do is I'll start with and here's what here's what it looks like after the finished pro product um, you see we don't have to remove a whole lot of material but like I said I like to stay within the dome and uh, that way it still has plenty of strength this thing is almost an inch and a half thick in this dome area um, so there's plenty of meat there uh, where this you can see where this valve recess is I mean it's only quarter inch thick there and it doesn't have a problem there so I don't see why it would have a problem here so what I'll do is I start by using this 5 16th drill bit and I'll chuck it up make sure it's tight the thing you have to do is uh, make sure your drill bit stays tight um, and I'll go in and I'll start drilling a couple pilot holes here and I won't drill them very deep just to get the other bit started and I'll go in increments with the other bits so that one's not deeper than the other and it typically if you do that your drill bit will walk off in a hole and you know, it's it's hard so just a little bit at a time on each on each pilot works pretty good make sure to remove all your extra material Keep it clean in there so you can see what you're doing. And then one more on this side. Like I said, we're just using these as pilot. So now you can see we have our four pilot holes drilled there. Step up to our next drill bit. Now I've done almost the whole set of these so I have a pretty good idea of how deep to go but um, 
I suggest on your first one, a little bit at a time and weigh. A little bit and weigh. You'll see I'll start doing that towards the end. Um, another thing to keep into consideration is try is to, this is aluminum so it removes very easy. Try to, try to start really slow. And as it, Like I said, we're not doing a whole lot at a time, not very deep, just maybe an eighth inch deep and then go to your next hole. And get it the same depth, and go to your next one. And go to your next one. Okay, so you see we got our 5 8 hole started. Now we'll go to our 3 quarter, and this is the one we use to remove most of the material. Um, like I said, because, and typically it'll walk a little bit, almost like a mill does. Like I said, a little bit at a time, we'll go to the next one. Now it's probably better if I had a vice, but I don't have one, so. And also I want to say this, every piston is different. So even though this is where I'm drilling mine, you might need to drill yours in a different spot. You really need to look at it and look at where your depths are on your piston. Okay, now we've removed quite a bit of material. We're gonna turn our scale on, make sure it's zeroed, and we're gonna add the piston to it. All right, so what we're shooting for is 759.5 grams. Right now we're at 768 even. So we need to remove about nine more grams or eight and a half more grams. All right, yeah eight and a half more grams so we've removed about 10 grams so far and this is what the bottom side of our piston looks like once we get it down pretty low they're pretty close to the number about half a half a gram or so we'll go in and clean up um, the edges and smooth everything out the best we can uh, now what I think I'm gonna do is go back to the 5 16 and try to remove some of the sharper edges here
Okay, now we little went a little bit deeper. Turn our scale back on. Make sure it's zeroed. Knock all the big stuff out of there. And weigh it again. And so now we're at 76 763.8. So we need to remove a little bit more. Okay, two and a half grams left to go. The ideal here would be to have a vice. Of course, I don't have that, as you can see. Back to the scale. Right at 760 so we're going to remove about half a gram at this point you can see where we're at um, you know we didn't get too deep on any of it but we spread it out um, so now we're going to go and try to smooth up these edges the best we can Okay, now you can see we went in there and smoothed out all these edges, all the sharp edges. We kind of went and smoothed it out, and we're right at 759.4. And as I mentioned earlier, every time I use this scale, I put it on a different surface, it tends to be off a little bit. Um, but what we're looking for is consistency. And so take it off and put it on. And we're back at 759.4. So we know that the scale is consistent. We're not off once it's located. Um, and then once I'm doing this process, I won't move this scale without reweighing um, a piston that we know the weight of. And then we'll weigh it several times and see if that comes up to the same thing. And if it does, that's what the weight will go off of for the rest of them, if that makes sense. Um, so after we weigh them, I take a marker and I tend to use different color markers. It helps. 759.4. So we're this gram is about this 
this is about a tenth lighter than some of the others or two tenths lighter than some of the others which I don't think is going to make a difference um, you know another thing some people like to tape up these pistons these piston uh, skirts and the uh, piston ring wall I don't I probably should have but it'll work regardless All right, so next we're gonna to get to putting the pistons on the rods. All right, guys, y'all please post some comments on this and let me know what y'all think. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of people who don't like it and who don't agree with it, and I'm okay with that. Uh, they are going to my engine and not yours. Um, so uh, next thing we're gonna do is put them on some rods. Uh, we got the block already back from the machine shop. We're gonna run an old cam in it uh, that I bought from the swap meet. It's 75 bucks for a hydraulic roller. It's a comp, about a 575 lift and uh, a set of heads that I've done some mild work on and we're gonna see what kind of power it makes um, y'all stay tuned we're gonna put it in the car and test it uh, we'll put it on run sand test it first and uh, then probably put some nitrous on it and see what really happens and we'll uh, we'll see if these things will hold together or not um, y'all stay tuned for what's to come remember like subscribe and give me your comments I really appreciate it thank y'all